My name is Dermot Casey. I'm a venture investment leader at NDRC and I suppose my job is to uh, find new companies for our investment programs and for our accelerator programs and then to mentor them through those programs. Catalyst is something I've been using for a while and it's the easy way to think about it is it's somebody who makes something happen without necessarily being part of the process themselves. So uh, it describes very well what we do in terms of mentoring startups and it describes a lot of what I was doing as a consultant before I joined NDRC. Uh, the talent scout is what my 11 year old would describe me, he said that you're a talent scout for tech, which is a lot of what we're doing, we're going out and we're looking for new ventures, we're looking for uh, companies that are going to make a difference, uh, disrupt businesses or, 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 or change and alter the world. I came from a corporate background initially, so I had uh, uh, well, four years in, in, in a semi-state and ten years working in, eleven years working in, in, in General Electric. So uh, a lot of the companies that businesses would be selling into would be very familiar with the sorts of corporate backgrounds. The last six years I spent in, uh, in startups, three years building a startup from the ground up. So I have a good idea of what it's like to be inside a startup to understand how to grow the business from two people up to 35 people, raise a couple of million in finance, work with uh, venture capitalists. So we're, we're trying to do two things at NDRC. We're trying to get people to uh, early traction with their customers, figure out that product market fit, and then we're trying to make sure that they're ready for venture investment uh, so that VCs will be, be willing to put in money into those companies to help them scale. So all of those things tie, that, tie, tie, tie together. And then a lot of what we do is focused on work coming out of the universities as well. Um, and uh, in Storyful I spent some time working with a number of the research centres, developing and, 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 and productising some research technology, that, that supports that as well. The Secret Post Accelerator is, is execution, so what we're focused on is we're going to get the, those companies to early sales, we're going to get, uh, make them venture ready uh, for venture investment, we're going to get to that, that first stage, essentially the first, the, the, the first key milestones of survival as a business. The, the next stage post accelerator is, is, is growing the business, it's actually scaling up. So from startup almost to, 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 to scale up is the way to think about it. A lot of that is about execution, it's about continuing to understand the product market fit piece, so you're delivering for your customers, but it's also understanding that your business changes as it grows and as, as it develops. You need to put different structures in place, uh, you can have different systems in place to help grow that business uh, and execution is always going to be a key part of that. There's a great cohort of companies that just come in. There's a wide variety of companies in that cohort. Uh, some fascinating, uh, very, very different businesses. So we have uh, Cortec Labs, uh, which is focused on um, uh, neuroscience as a mechanism for improving uh, concentration for kids. We have WIA, which is uh, focused on uh, platforms for Internet of Things. Uh, House My Dog, which you uh, think about as Airbnb for dogs. So it's a f fabulous set of businesses, uh, some at very different stages of development, uh, some of which have some early sales already, um, but there's, there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of really interesting companies there. So Catalyzer is a fairly recent program in NDRC, so we have our first four companies have come in uh, just I suppose about six, eight weeks ago at this stage. Uh, onto the program. It's focused on companies that will have built technology, uh, so that it's, they've, they've gone past the idea stage. The technology uh, is based on deep know-how, so they're coming with uh, deep market knowledge or they may be coming out of universities. I think if we talk maybe about some of the companies that are in the current program, I give you a better idea. So Cortec, which I mentioned earlier, uh, is, is one of the catalyzer companies. So that's based on uh, neuroscience research that Anya ha has been conducting over a number of years. InTouch, uh, which was uh, previously a Q called QReach, uh, came out of um, uh, some research work that was being done. Uh, Exceedance, uh, which is focused on uh, return investment metrics for wind and wave energy. Again, uh, focused on some work that was done in uh, the Mar Mar Marine Research Institute down in, uh, down in Cork. So it's a wide variety, but the, the common thing that all of them have is they all have really, really deep uh, and core knowledge and expertise in the, in the area that they're, they're building something on. And they've actually built some uh, initial technology around that that has the potential to um, uh, to, to grow and develop and may, maybe become defensible around IP itself over time. I'm very hopeful, really on a practical level, because um, 
of the existing cohort of four companies, two are female founders. And of the applicants that are, are coming in for the current program so far, so the next program that we're running, uh, that the call is currently on for, uh, somewhere between 35 and 40 percent of the teams have female founders or co-founders as part of it. That hasn't been a uh, deliberate strategy on the catalyzer. Uh, we're looking for is we're looking for good teams. As one of my colleagues put it previously, what, what we found when we went out and we looked for. Uh, for teams for catalyzers, we found you know a neuroscientist with some really really good technology. We found an MBA student, a former MBA student, uh, with, with some business experience and a really really good idea. We were focused on the companies they were building rather than the individuals themselves. Uh, I think the female founders program itself has been quite interesting because it's brought some potential catalyzer companies uh, to, 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 to note and highlighted some of those, those for us as well. So I think, it, I think the fact that we're running, we've, we've run the female founders call and we're running Catalyze at the same time will actually help the overall gender diversity of, across all our programs. You can apply for the Catalyzer program. Uh, you can email myself, dermot.casey at ndrc.ie. Uh, just put the Catalyzer in the subject line. We have an online application form on our website, so go to www.ndrc.ie. Uh, if you go into the program section, Catalyzer, there's a link that gives you more information on the program and also a link to the application form. Uh, the closing date for the, the program is on the 6th of April and we're having an open night on the, the 31st, which is this Thursday night here in NDRC in, in Dublin.